Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer. We are back with our desert franchise zoo. And in this episode, we are going to build a cheetah habitat because you guys voted for it on the community wall. Thank you guys so much for voting. Really appreciate it. So the cheetah, it is going to be, but obviously we have to do a lot. And to be completely honest, I have this feeling that I feel like I want to try to work towards an ending of this series. I don't know. I really like this series so far, but I feel like I am also a little bit looking forward to do something new in a different style. Obviously, this is not going to come down with like one or two episodes. Uh, it's probably going to be a few more. But just so you guys know that I am working towards uh, more of an ending. So we're not going to add all the animals, of course. We're going to add a few more animals in the Asian area because we only have one. We're going to add all, probably all the South America animals. And we're going to uh, have just one or two more African animals in here, probably. Because we have quite a lot of African animals, to be completely honest. And we also have the Australian animals. And who knows, we might get a new DLC. So, okay, we're definitely not. But still, I, I just feel like I am looking forward to do something new. Maybe we should just start another franchise soon next to it. I don't know. How would you guys feel about that? I have no idea. But let's have a look. Oh, we have that research complete. What kind of that research? Oh, the rental lemur. Do we have anything else that we still need to research? Uh, we have everything being gold. We have the ringed out lemur right over here. And uh, well, we don't have these animals in. So the cheetah is going to be in our zoo very soon. Do we have any more diseases? Oh, we have only one. Okay, let's just make sure that we got you two. Maybe we can start a new franchise in hard mode right away. That could be something. Wait, do I hear protesters? What? Oh, wait, are, is that you? It sounds like them, but they're going away. <laughs> Not entirely sure what this is. They are leaving the zoo. Okay, they stopped screaming. I don't have any notification of why they were even in here. I have no idea what that was. Okay, what's here? Uh, uh, okay, saltwater crocodile. That is what I saw really quickly. So what is going on with the saltwater crocodiles? Where is that habitat? Oh, that's right over here. So we have three pl feeding platforms right now. We do need to make sure that the parents have contraceptives. I think I already did that, but just in case, this is the older one. Who is running out of the water? Or is that the sprinkler? Oh no, it was you. I heard you. I heard you, baby lady. That is so cute. We have so many ladies in here right now. We only have dad. <laughs> dad being like, oh, all my daughters. Super proud of them, obviously. Oh, you already have contraceptives too. Yeah, of course, because, well, imagine those daughters growing up and he's being like, oh, hello. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I do love this zoo, don't get me wrong. I really love this zoo, but I feel like I just... I'm looking forward to do something new and refreshing. So it's either with a franchise zoo or with a sandbox zoo. And we already have three sandbox series going on right now. Inama Zoo, the uh, Safari Boat Ride and City Zoo. So yeah, I don't know. How do you guys feel about this? Who do I see running there? I think that was a gi giraffe. Oh my god, it's still so busy in here. <gasps> they don't have enough feeders. They don't have enough feeders. Wait, um, is that a thing that we maybe just need to copy one more of this too? And why is that one not filled then? That is a bit awkward, isn't it? I mean, why is it on the floor? I don't get it. That's quite confusing, actually. Is there any... Wait, slow feeders for the... Um, for the ostrich. Maybe we need one more of that. That one is going to be filled right now, I guess. Look at all these animals run towards the keeper, get bringing food. 
That's really cool, actually. And it's really cool because we now are getting like a new free update soon with the um, animal togs. And this is also kind of a behavior that they react to the keepers, which I actually never really noticed. I knew it was in there, but I really didn't notice. But it's going to be cool if you have the animals togs and like animals really reacting to it too. I do really like that. That's really cool. Look at all these animals eating their food right over here. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Oh my god, there's so many different animals in here. Oh yeah, it's going super fast. <laughs> oh my gosh, I really hope they will uh, fill, she will fill a few more of the feeders because they definitely need it. They definitely need it. Oh gosh, it looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Alrighty, alrighty. What I also really want to do, I want to check out the heat maps. I want to check out the heat maps for guest needs. Hunger. Okay, we because in the previous episode, I did mention that we have a lot of different new shops provided by the lovely Discord community. And uh, to squeeze in where people really do need some food or drinks and... Actually, it's not even that bad, is it? There are a few orange ones. But there are a lot of food shops right over here and drink shops. And here too, but they're already like fulfilling their needs right over here. It is a little bit maybe too orange in here. But not red. Okay, there is red here, but there is a restaurant right over here. I'm not really sure actually if we can like fulfill those needs. We already have a little shop extra right over here. It is super busy right over here, actually. Really, really busy. People all standing here on the bridge to look to the hyenas in their habitat on both sides. But they're not, like, stopping. It's, it's quite big, so it's not, like, really terrible, but it is right over here. What we can do, maybe, is remove one donation bin. I don't think we need an extra one. So they have a little bit more space to walk right over here. I think that could work out. Like, warthogs are not, like, super spectacular for all the guests. So it's not super busy in here. Which is a good thing. So that's why I chose to add the warthogs right over here. Because I knew they would not, like, have too many big groups waiting here. But they're so cool. I like the warthogs. I'm a fan of the warthogs. It's pretty doable right over here. It is too busy at the shops, though. It is too busy here. But still, I I actually think it's not that bad. Or at least oh, it is a little bit bad <laughs> over here. But I do feel that I can't really fix it because we don't have that much space to add shops in the side. Well, maybe we can add a shop right over here. But we have a restaurant building right over there. Why would we want to do that? Like, why? But we can. Let's have a look. Like, they're, they're pretty small. That's what I asked for. Like, can we get some really small ones? Uh, oh, God. 16,400. Oh, wow. We can, we can afford that. <laughs> you see, Vexer 1 added all the shops in one blueprint. Which is fine, but that's why it's a little bit more expensive. So you can also download these all yourself if you want to use them with the collection list uh, link in the description down below. So definitely go and check them out. I do really like this one. Uh, so it's food. Uh, do we? Oh, wait, no, it's food and drink. It's food and drink. So chief beef and gulpy soda, which is actually not bad. Okay, so if we just move you. And I'm going to pause the game for just a bit. Can we just squeeze you in here? Yes, perfect. Okay, so the only thing out I want to do is like move that gulpy sign either to the outside or the inside, but not having it over the curbs. So we squeeze you in between the cactuses. Perfect. Okay, so now we have an extra shop for food and for drinks. Do we have enough bins here? I think we're going to duplicate you uh, just one more time on that side. And maybe also have two on this side. And okay, we already have two on that side. So that should be fine. This one is sticking out a little bit too much for my 
taste. Now we don't see it anymore. Nice. Okay, there's only a weird tree right over here that is going to be rotated a little tiny bit. Okay, so we at least have one more desert shot right now. I really do like that planter. That is looking really nice. Perfect. Okay, so we have one extra shop right over here. And that is something we could potentially do in a few more sections if we need to. So that is really nice. Uh, we have, do we have, do we need one on this side? We might, we have a restaurant somewhere. Didn't we squeeze in a big, beautiful restaurant? In this section, where is it? With the rat roof. Oh, that's there. Oh, that's why. But I think we can actually have one more in here. I actually think that's not a bad idea. So if we just copy paste you, um, maybe even here, because there is a staff area right behind it. I think that is going to be perfect. So we're going to squeeze you in here. Okay. I think, yes, let's go for this. And now we just add a few bins. Do we have a bin that we can copy here? Yes, we have. Perfect. So we're going to just put you down here. Oh, and these, uh, I don't know if I just mentioned it, but these are made by Vector1. So thank you for providing these awesome, cute little shops. I really do like them. Thank you so, so much for providing these. And we do have a few more. So you can also find those in the description list down below, which we're probably going to use in the future. We have a Modern Desert Shops by uh, Formtastic. And we also have Desert Stuff by, who else? The Nathan Egg. <laughs> so you can definitely uh, find a lot of shops in this style for yourself too. And uh, we're probably going to squeeze in one or two uh, more in the future to make sure that all our guests, are, their needs are fulfilled. Do we have uh, staff enough? No, it's not hiring staff automatically, is it? I thought it would. I, do, I think we do need to add it to a work roster too, by the way. Uh, we're going to have one and two. Oh, we can add these, of course, in their own work roster right over here. So we're going to have a work roster like so. I'm not really sure where our staff building is. So we're just going to have this um, hippo shops or a hippo restaurant. It's not really. A, I'm just going to call it shops. Hippo shop. So these two can get the work roster of hippo, hippo shops. Hippo. <laughs> hippo shop. So that is going to be you, hippo shops. And you are going to have hippo shops. And the other one is actually going to be in this same work roster. I have no idea how that one is called. Might be just an entrance restaurant or something like that. Waterfall gas buildings. Fender's roster. Oof, I have no idea which one it is. Hyenas, Camel Bongo, Australia. It might just be Defender's roster. Uh, in this work zone and another. Uh, okay, in this work zone and in another. So that is, is probably this section. Okay, so I'm just going to have these all vendors roster and um, we're gonna hire two more staff on this side and uh, vendors roster okay perfect so we at least have uh, the right amount of staff right now too for these buildings because else it would not be really helpful so are you like being like oh am i going to am i not is that shop opening yes it is there you go okay so that is going to fulfill their needs even more what do we have here Facility broke down, which is a Steve Beef vending machine. That is going to be a thing. I really want... What are you doing? Did you see that old man doing weird things? I'm not really sure what he was doing. <laughs> um, I think we need to make sure that we have enough mechanics. I wonder how busy the mechanics are with all these new vending machines. Oh, they're actually quite efficient. Yeah, again, I'm still going to add just two more. We need to make sure that we do some training very soon. Uh, but I think it's going to be fine other than that. Facility inaccessible. Oh, yes, I'm very sorry about that. I think we're just going to delete everything. Why? Like, why? We're not using them right now. We have some more vet research. That is the cute fever. 
That is perfect. We could actually do some extra research, right? So advanced research to these animals. Still not entirely sure what it could, what it does exactly, but we just we just do it. We have them, so why not? Alrighty, so let's go and start building a cheetah habitat, which I actually want to have right over here, in between the Asian area and the cheetah area. Uh, or the African area right over here. So we have the African wild dogs right over here, now monitor, and a tortoise. We have the lemur island right over here, and we have the African elephant, and the sable antelope right over here. I think this is going to be a nice area if we add a cheetah and maybe the West African line on the other side to fill it up right over here. Um, but then again, we also have a lot of other animals I would love to add. So we're just gonna see how it goes. Without further talking, let's start building.
So the easy and good thing is with a cheetah habitat is that they don't really need or want that many green things. So yeah, it was quite easy and simple to set this habitat up actually. It's a really big habitat. Um, it's, it's way bigger than they need to. How big do we have it right now? I think 3,000 square meters or something. All oh, right, okay, let me show you. Uh, 2,405 it is right now. They only need 816. And we have a different cheetah in here. I don't really dare to call it an albino. I don't really think it is an albino. I think it's, it's called lutism in this case. So I don't think it's really an albino. Uh, but we have a cheetah without any spots, which is actually really cool. I saw it in the training center or the, the, the market and I was like, you know what? I never saw this one up close. I really just want to see it. And it looks really beautiful. I do really like it. I really hope they are able to get in some babies because if we compare the mates, they have 75%. So I made sure that the fertility of the male is like really high because this one is really low. So this is a spotless cheetah, pale yellow coat. And um, this is the Ludism run, right? This is not a different just fur variation, I think. So. Do, do let me know in the comment section down below because I'm a little bit confused and I don't want to like misinform anyone. So <laughs> just let me know if you know exactly how it is called. I think it's called Ludism in this case. And um, but yeah, they have a really high... Um, High percentage, actually. Did we already have enough research for them then? I mean, maybe that is why. Let's have a look. We have more research on Lark Rinkle. Lemur Q Fever is now completed. Uh, we already saw the cheetah. And it's like, oh, we already have the complete research because of a different franchise. That is perfect, actually. So that's why we also have like this bonus now with the fertility. That is really great. I'm really happy with that. Oh, look at that. The sounds they make. I love it. The purrs. <laughs> that is amazing. So they have... I, I used the arch away again because I just don't know. I just like how that one is looking. Also to divide this habitat a little bit in different sections. Also the good thing about this habitat is we now have connected uh the asian area with this african area which also hopefully means because i did already see some guests standing here which also hopefully means that they are now going to use this raptor house of course there are st again not a single guest in here but hopefully that is going to change soon and then we can also earn some more money out of our reptile so that is going to be super cool so this is really up close right over here. There's not really a, uh, a section right over here which is per se for Africa or Asia or anything. So it's not really that bad to have this reptile house being basically still connected to the African area. And from here they walk into the Asian area. And I think that's going to be super nice with the Gario and, and other Asian animals on this side too. And uh, yeah, we can have maybe another restaurant on this side that could potentially work i was actually thinking to have the starbucks blueprint also from fractor one which is really cool and i was hoping that i could put it in here but i wasn't sure because i was afraid that there wouldn't be any sun uh, in this direction to like light up the building um to, to make it look the best because i i love my sunlight you know uh, but I think this is going to work out really well, actually. So we only need to make... Look at this building. Oh my goodness. Vector 1. I know this one has been in the collection list for so long. But I just hadn't really find... I didn't really find any uh, use for it. Like where we could put it down. What would be the best thing? But look how beautiful this is looking. That is gorgeous. So the only thing we need to do now is just make sure that we connect it. Look at this. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. We have toilets. This is looking beautiful. Vector 1. Oh my freaking gosh. Now I finally see it. Okay, it's not perfect. But we at least now have a functional 
uh, Starbucks restaurant in here. Vector One, thank you so much again for this incredible build. This is really, really cool. And I just really love how, uh, how this is looking with like the terrace right over here. And like the path is like connected a little bit underneath planters and stuff. And people will probably walk through the walls, but I think it's okay. The only downside is I, I couldn't really get these two connected. I think the toilets are a little bit misplaced and not really on the grid. So it's a little bit harder to connect it, but I think it looks really nice still. Look at this building. This is looking super beautiful. So thank you so, so much. I can tell that my game is lagging a little bit because of this building inside here, but it is great. It looks fantastic, Factor 1. So yeah, if you guys want to download this one yourself and use it in one of your, your zoos, definitely go and check it out in the collection list down below. And I did hide away a, a solar panel in here, so we have electricity. Okay, it looks a little bit wonky on the outside. You see the path also sticking out a little bit here. Uh, but we just pretend it's not here, I guess. Uh, but it looks fantastic, so obviously we need to fill this up a little bit with some uh, nice trees and bushes to make it all look nice. But other than that, I think this area is um, almost done. As in not the filling the gaps, of course, but having the area. So maybe we can have one more animal in here and then one more animal in here. Like I said, maybe the West Africa lion or anything. That could be, uh, that could work. Definitely. And, and then we uh, definitely need to take some time to fill in all these gaps and make it look nice. And as a whole, uh, oh gosh, I just love this area. It is looking so cool, or Lemur Island. I really, really like this. Oh, that box is in the water reset enrichment item. Is there anything else in the water? I don't think so. Okay, perfect. So, okay, so we have the cheetahs in our zoo right now. And uh, they are able to drink from this water section right over here. I think they also can even cool down in the water section. I think they will be very happy with that. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some um, offspring in here. That will be super amazing. Afafa. You're really beautiful. I really do like this spotless color, even though I should not, maybe, but you just are beautiful. I can't help it. <laughs> do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these beautiful cheetahs and their habitat. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. Of course, stay tuned for any new polls on the community wall if you want to have a say on new uh, animals in whether it's this series or in any other series, of course. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel a little extra, you may want to consider to become a FaFem member with the link down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stop running, you! <laughs> and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys!